that's cool. That blew my mind. So like I, I came across a script back in like 2005 called Corn Boy. And I was like, this is a story I love so much. And I showed it to everyone I could show it to and it never got made. And before the rights lapsed, I was like, I talked to the writer. I was like, you know what? We need to tell the story. Let's make a comic book. And at least it'll be beautiful. It'll be exactly the vision we have. And it'll be out there as a story. There's been many versions of the story along the way. Uh, there was versions that if I showed you that version versus what's in the book today, you'd be like, oh, wow, a lot has changed. They'll have a really complex cover. And then once every 15 or 20 pages, there'll be a really detailed page. And then it'll be like a lot of just like A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, like just quick panels and then back to like a detailed page. And they'll get their books out rather quickly, you know? But the sort of the vision we had was to make every page just detailed and, there's almost like this where's Waldo aspect to it too, where like you could look at it and read the book and pick it up later and see like, there's like a thousand creatures I haven't seen the first time around. Yeah, like, so I do want to talk a little bit about the story uh, just dropped today. Um, so some of the words, I understand that the fact that we can't understand what animals say. So some of the words that, most of the words that the monsters say are not meant to be intelligible um but if there were like if you could put meaning to some of these words like struggle yeah. like what might they struggles struggles a name so that's not that's so that's okay uh that's the character's name uh so you just say struggle you know so like when you see a word it is attributed to an english word for me um but there is no document of like, you know, a pet human dictionary. Um, but the aliens at this point are intentionally not uh, labeled as a reader. You know, it's no longer in the storyteller's hands. It's in the listener or the reader's hands, you know, or the watcher's hands. And I think the book is whatever you take it to be. You know, the, the way the world that we've created on that planet is a more uh, ecologically friendly, sustainable world. Things are advanced, but also rooted in an organic place.